Hello and welcome to Downforce Update, I'm Nick Janes. This week we'll look at the news, we'll talk about Bring a Trailer Park, and we'll also take a look at Press Car of the Week. But first, let's talk about our sponsor, Autodromo. Autodromo, instruments for motoring. You can check out their full line of sport car inspired watches at autodromo.com and also facebook.com slash autodromomedia. Really great stuff, check them out. I've got one myself, loving it to death. Now time for my Jeremy Clarkson impersonation. Let's do the news. Uh, remember how I promised I would bring you the newest update as soon as I could about the Lamborghini SUV? Well, here it is. The Lamborghini Urus concept. Uh, unfortunately, it is a concept at this time, but we're expecting to go to production sometime soon. And why do I assume that? Well, because Lambo is already expecting sales numbers from it. So you can... Uh, let me give you a little bit of information on it. It has a 600 horsepower engine and full-time all-wheel drive, just like most every Lambo now, except for one exception. Lambo saying uh, pricing will be competitive with other hyper SUVs and s significantly lower than their other Gallardo and Aventador. Uh, and what's interesting is Lambo saying they're going to sell about 3,000 units a year, which is more than double their current sales with their other models. It'll also have delivered the lowest CO2 emissions of any hyper SUV, like the BMW X5M and the supercharged Range Rover Sport. So for those of you who've been waiting for a daily driver hyper SUV, your answers, your prayers will soon be answered from Lamborghini. Next, we've got Ford, news from Ford. Ford has finally put the Shelby GT500 Mustang on the dyno, and well, the numbers are st staggering. It's get making 662 horsepower and 631 pound-feet of torque, up 12 horsepower from their estimates of 650. The uh, GT500 is also expected to achieve 16 MPG in the city and 24 on the highway. Impressively, those horsepower numbers make it the most powerful V8 in the world. So that should be pretty cool. Oh, they also have set pricing at $54,200, which is about half the price of the Corvette ZL1. And the Mustang is also more powerful. So those of you thinking about a Mustang uh, that can beat a Camaro or a, a Corvette, your, uh, your prayers have almost been answered. I don't think this is a theme I'm going to continue with these news bits about uh, prayers being answered, but why not? Pivoting on that sad news for GM and Corvette fans, Chevy might have accidentally or intentionally confirmed the 2014 SS model. The OnStar Vehicle Compatibility Guide listed the SS performance on its 2014 lineup sheet. Folks have been speculating for a while that once Chevy trademarked the SS brand here uh, recently, that a new SS Chevy could be coming to the market. It could, would be a rebadged Holden Commodore. Holden is the a GM brand down in Australia. You might remember the last time Americans uh, saw the Holden Commodore rebadged as the Pontiac G8 not too long ago. You know what? There's nothing really better than a rear wheel drive V8 American sedan. And we need more of those and hopefully they will do that. Now it's time for your favorite segment and surely my favorite segment, Bring a Trailer Park where I scour the internet for literally moments looking for the most hillbilly of Craigslist postings to bring to you folks. Well, this week is not as good as last week, I'm afraid. You can't really top that one, I'm, I'm assuming. This week we have a 1977 Camaro race car project. As you can see here, it's a roller. Yeah, because there is no front end engine or much there. Let's, uh, let's see what he says here. The car uh, was a race car project someone started. I'm glad he doesn't know who. Uh, homemade wheel tubs and roll cage. Doors are real nice. They are worth a couple hundred alone. But look, no doors pictured. Uh, trunk lid, three-piece rear spoiler, rear glass, taillights, dash, gauges, steering column, blank. I don't know where he was going with that. He has a title, four nine-inch rear end. So if you're looking for a project car, and that is one heck of a project car, $675 on Craigslist. Now let's move on to the last bit. 
we're looking at press car of the week. This week I have the 2013 Acura RDX with a tech package. MSRP is $38,915. They have removed the turbocharged four-cylinder from the old model. As other automakers are going towards turbocharged four-cylinders, Acura has moved away. They have put a V6 in there, normally aspirated, making 273 horsepower. It is a screamer, especially in sport mode. However, there is a lot of torque steer at full acceleration. That thing will rip the steering wheel from your hands. Not literally, but you do have to wrestle it. Uh, it's expected, EPA estimates, 20 city and 28 highway 23 combined i am getting combined score right now of 17 ish so i do have a heavy foot though but what's cool about this is you get a lot more tech features at 38 grand than a lot of its uh, other luxury competitors do at 48 grand um, so this this is an excellent excellent look at a luxury compact suv for those of you looking i highly recommend it hopefully it'll get the S Super handling all-wheel drive as well. All right, so you can see that full review on downforcemotoring.com next week. This week up, you can check out right now my written, full written review of the 2012 Ford Explorer. That is up there now. That concludes Downforce Update for this week. I'm Nick Jaynes for Downforce Motoring. Thanks for watching.